What's up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. Here's a quick guide on how to get the new skill points in the game after 0.7.5 update. We now have 20 skill points total. Two more skill points are now added to the game. You can now access the ultimate skills. So here's how to get them. First thing to do, go talk to Slade. He's got some missions for you. So go to Slade, click on missions. And look at that, Shadowgun Elite 1, Shadowgun Dauntless 1. So we got two sets of chain quests, okay? There's part one, part two, and part three for one of the chain quests. The other uh, is part one and part two only. So Shadowgun Dauntless, the first one, uh, just reach, I think it's 300,000 fame, okay? It's not 3 million, it's 300,000. So if you're new to the game, uh, you don't need the last kill points yet anyways, because you're still probably uh, doing the main quest. But if you're in the end game and you're stuck at 18, you probably already have 300,000 total fame. So just accept the mission and part one is done. That's it. Nothing else to do. So you don't need to do another 300,000 fame. But Shadowgun Elite part one though, win a war games match uh, naked using only your pistol. Okay. So if you already did that, Slade wants you to do it again. So Dauntless one is done. You can claim the rewards. It's a sticker. A uh, couple XP and some fame on top of that. The sticker is pretty cool. But look at the next one. Because when you're done with part 1, it's going to give you a second part of the quest. Shadowgun Dauntless Part 2. Complete the Gold Arena. That's it. All you need to do is complete Gold Arena. So I did it with some friends. Finished the Gold Arena. By the way, Gold Arena changed quite a bit. You have to run around because it's not the same spawn patterns. But when you're done with your Gold Arena, go see Slade. Claim your rewards. You're gonna have a brand new legendary, the Dauntless. It's Slade's Dauntless, by the way. Uh, it says very impressive shadow gun. Uh, but that's pretty straightforward. Not much to do. Get 300,000 theme, then complete gold arena with friends. Doesn't matter how long it takes. It took us 24 minutes on their first gold arena after the update. But here you go. Uh, new legendary weapon. Uh, all you need to do is complete gold arena and you get one new skill point now the other set of quests though a bit harder uh win a war games match naked using only pistol so it's the old mentalist ribbon i did it in the past i got 25 of these uh, i did all of them in duels but you can do it in team pvp of course so i remove everything even the cosmetics i don't want to take a chance and you guys may be confirming the comments if you can still use cosmetics because the ribbon's been bugged a little bit in the past. So I removed everything, uh, all my armor, all my cosmetics. I kept the ring, okay? If you have the premium ring, uh, I did keep it. About the skills, I did use deflector skin in my duel and I still got it. I got the mentalist ribbon at the end and then I saw Slade to complete the reward. Now, when you're done with your naked duel or whatever you did, Slade will give you another one. Kill 30 enemies in a mission without taking any damage. This is the good old Dodger ribbon, okay? It's easier to do in blue missions. I like Sentry Gun for this ribbon. This is how I farmed it. Uh, Sentry Gun and AM Bomb. And then I look for Infestation. So I don't know why I like uh, Infestation. I feel it's easier. You can take your time. Uh, kill one breeder at a time. Kill the couple enemies that spawn. And then move slow. You don't want to take a chance. Uh, am bomb is really good you can really take your time let your skills recharge uh sentry gun will draw aggro uh, so the enemies will go on the sentry instead of going for you so it gives you a better chance if you take damage just exit and retry uh, if you want an easy mission try the first planet if you can uh, i did mine on the second planet but you can try first planet maybe it's going to be easier now this is what you're looking for dodger ribbon when you see the dodger ribbon the blue white blue ribbon it means you did it. You did 30 kills without taking damage. Uh, you can finish. I think you have to finish, but I'm not sure. Uh, finish the mission. Don't take a chance. Back to the hub. You see Shadowgun Elite 2 complete. So you can go back to Slade. Take your reward and take the next mission. So a couple fame, couple XP again. Shadowgun Elite 2 completed. And here's Shadowgun Elite 3 for another skill point and a sticker. So that's the second skill point. Finish off any boss with a headshot. You need to finish a boss with a headshot. There's been maybe a bit of confusion. It's not clear what bosses work exactly. I asked my friends, does it work with uh, Brothers of Fire? And he said, yes, but you have to kill both bosses. I was really taking my time trying not to miss the head. And you could see in the back, my friends, by mistake, they killed the other boss. But I got the headshot. So it's very clear. I killed only one boss with headshot and the other boss 
I didn't kill, okay? You saw it in the back. So I went uh, after the dungeon and I went back into the hub. I got the takedown medal for some reason, but look at the top, uh, the Slade mission, Shadow Gun Elite 3 pop. So confirm guys, I went Brothers of Fire. I only killed one boss, 100% sure, okay? I did not kill the other boss and I got the mission complete. That is Shadow Gun Elite 3. You get one more skill point, one more sticker, uh, 3,000 XP and some fame. So the first set of quests, very straightforward. Get 300,000 fame. You probably already have that. And then complete gold arena. Very, very, not easy, but straightforward. Okay, you just do it. So you get one skill point for that. And the second skill point is the other set of missions. Maybe a bit more complicated, but yeah, if PvP naked with only pistol, then uh, Dodger Ribbon. 30 kills without taking damage and uh, the last one finish a boss with a headshot you probably noticed a little uh i took a bit of damage there from a breeder a torment breeder it's not from an enemy i took one hp of damage okay i went from 164 to 163 and i kept going and i finished and i still got the ribbon so i will leave you guys with the gameplay uh, at the end with the dodger ribbon if you guys enjoy the gameplay and there's the damage took one hit uh, from the breeder but I, I don't know if it works all the time. It worked for me. Uh, enjoy the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the guide. Leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends gameplay, news, and guides. I will be back soon. Until then, watch my other videos. Take care. Come get some. Open sesame.
Extraction unit to SG. Coming low and fast for a hostile extraction. Be ready, sir. Yeah. 